As photographers, we all thrive to have a collection of lenses that allow us to be creative while being fun to work with. I think that for photography, I have reached that perfect set of tools for my needs. So in today's video, I will talk about all the Fujifilm lenses that I own and how I use them. The XF 18mm f1.4 has quickly became one of my favorite lenses. I use it in the streets when I want to give contact around the subject that I photograph and include more of its environment. It is also an extremely versatile lens when it comes to travel photography and it will allow you to document the people and places around you while being relatively compact and light on your back. The fact that it can focus pretty close, the fact that it focuses well, its size, its weight, give it little to no reason not to bring it everywhere you go. Additionally, it works pretty well with videos too, and a lot of the videos on this channel I've been filmed with this lens. If you're someone who is looking to go into photography but also want to use lenses for videography, then I would definitely recommend the 18mm f1.4. Now let's move on to the 33mm f1.4, which is absolutely my favorite Fujifilm native lens. It is sharp, focuses fast, lets in a tons of light, and it has also an extremely versatile focal length. For street photography, it is just a great tool if you want to focus the attention on the subject that you capture and kind of isolate it a little bit from its environment. For portrait photography, this is basically my go-to lens because I'm able to isolate my subject, I'm able to have a creamy background thanks to its really high aperture of 1.4, and you can be sure that the features of your subject will not be distorted by it. For travel, it is a nice light and compact mid-range lens that you can use everywhere to document what is around you. And for product photography, this is also my lens of choice because it is the closest to what the human eye see, so it will represent the product as we are supposed to see it, while being extremely sharp and resolving a lot of details. Now you may see why I love this lens so much. This is pretty much a secret weapon, and if I have any doubt on what lens to use, this is the first lens I would reach for. Now let's move on to this zoom lens, the 10 to 24 mm f4. I use this lens as a landscape slash architecture photography first, but it also doubles down really well as a video lens as it comes with OIS. It is only an f4 lens, but that's not a really a problem for me because I use this lens when there is usually plenty of light, or if there is no light, I usually mount it on a tripod. And this is also a lens that I will always bring with me if I go on travels, because I know that I will always have a place and a use case for it. And finally, let's talk about the 70 to 300. There are two reasons why I would reach for this lens. Number one, if I need the reach, because I'm trying to photograph uh, whether it is an animal or a place that is quite far from me and that I cannot reach with my feet. And number two, if I want to have that compression effects in my shots to make sure that the, bra the background appear really close to my subject and have this grandiose effect. I don't use this lens all the time, but when I need to use it, this is the only lens that can get the job done. So this is a really important lens in my arsenal and my toolkit. Now, if you have followed this channel for a while, you may ask yourself now, okay, where is your 16 to 55 millimeter f2.8? My opinion hasn't changed about this lens. I think that this is a great lens, a well all around lens, but for the past two months, I have experienced traveling and doing all the shots that I need to do without this lens and only using both the 18 and the 33 mm f1.4. And I felt that I did not miss this lens, which is why I think that it's time for me to just sell it and have someone else maybe put it to a good use because honestly, I'm not using it that much. So there you have it, this is my collection of lens and I'm quite happy with it so far. But let me know also what collection of lens you have and how you use them. This could be a good way to help people out and give them some inspiration or good opinion before they purchase anything. Thank you so much for watching today's video and if you missed it, check out this video right here where I talk about the Fujifilm X-T5 and how I feel about it after two months of use. See you there.